Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look about fractions. To get started, first let us see how to add fractions. Under this topic, the first section is addition of fractions with same denominator. Now remember, when the fractions with same denominators are added, the denominator does not change, but the sum of the numerator will be the answer. Simply remember, we have to add the numerators in order to get the answer like this. Now here, 3 over 8 plus 2 over 8 is equal to 5 over 8. It is clear that 8, which is the denominator, does not change, but 3 plus 2 is considered and 5 is taken as the numerator of the answer. Let's look into some more examples. 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. Here, the denominators are 5. So, in both the fractions, since the denominators are equal, nothing to worry. All what we have to add the numerators. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. Therefore, the final answer is 3 over 5. Look at this example. 5 over 12 plus 3 over 12. Once again, the denominators are same. So, we simply add 5 plus 3. Then we get the answer as 8 over 12. So, this is how we add fractions with same denominator. Now, let us see how to add fractions with unequal denominators. Now, look at this example. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. Now, in this case, if the denominators are unequal, before adding the fractions, we have to convert the two fractions to equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And then they are added just like before. Now, in this case, half and 1 over 6, the denominators are 2 and 6 respectively. You know, 2 can be converted to 6 by multiplying it by 3. Therefore, we do that multiplication like this. So, in this case, 1 over 2 can be written as 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Now, here the denominators are same. So, the final answer is 4 over 6. So, this is how you add a pair of fractions when the denominators are not equal. Let's look into further examples. 1 over 5 plus 5 over 10. So, in this case, uh, you have to think of a number, simply the least common multiple of 5 and 10. So, I'll recall how to find the least common multiple of two given numbers. You just write the two numbers while putting a comma in between. Divide the two numbers by prime numbers and take the answer. Once when you can't divide it further, you multiply the divisors and the final answers. Now, in this case, it is 5 into 2 into 1. The answer is 10. So, LCM of 5 and 10 is 10. So, what you have to do is you have to convert the denominators of the two fractions to 10 now. So, already one fraction has the denominator as 10. So, in order to get 10 in the first fraction, you have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 like this. And then you get 2 over 10 plus 5 over 10. The final answer is 7 over 10. Let's move to another example of this manner. 1 over 8 plus 5 over 12. Now, in this case, 8 cannot be converted to 12 or 12 cannot be converted to 8 directly. Therefore, once again, you have to think of the LCM of 8 and 12. So, let's get it. Dividing by 2, you get 4 and 6. Again, you have to divide it by 2 and then you get 2 and 3. So, the LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3, that is 24. So, both the fractions over here must be converted to fractions with denominator 24. So, it happens to be like this. The first fraction must be multiplied by 3, while the second fraction must be multiplied by 2. So, you get 3 over 24 and 10 over 24 respectively. The sum is 13 over 24. So, this is how you add fractions with unequal denominators. First, you have to equate the denominators by multiplying one of the fractions or both the fractions by a given number in order to convert it to 
equal denominators and then you can continue adding as usual. Then let's go to the next section that is addition of mixed numbers. Now in this case when mixed numbers are to be added you can follow two methods. First method is add the whole numbers and the fractional part separately. The whole number part you add separately, fractional part you add separately. Now look at this example 1 1 over 4 plus 2 2 over 4 are to be added. So here first you add the whole numbers and to that you add the fraction. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4. So your final answer is 3, 3 over 4. So you can follow this method or the second method is you have to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions and then add like this. Now this is the same example. 1, 1 over 4 when you write as an improper fraction it becomes 5 over 4 and 2, 2 over 4 when you write as an improper fraction it becomes 10 over 4. So here the denominators are same therefore you can directly add it. It becomes 15 over 4. You know 15 over 4 is an improper fraction. Anyhow in fractions the final answer cannot be an improper fraction. Always you have to make it into a mixed number. So the final answer is 3, 3 over 4. So this is how you do the addition of mixed numbers by converting to improper fraction. So one of the two ways you can follow, whatever is easy for you, you can follow that method and do the question. Anyhow, the final answer will be the same whatever the method you follow. Let's look into some examples. This is the example 5. We are going to do it under the method 1. That is, you are going to add the whole numbers separately and the fractional part separately. So then it becomes like this. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 over 12. That is 4, 8 over 12. The second method if you do, you have to convert both the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then you get 17 over 12 and 39 over 12. When you add, you get 56 over 12. Once again, 56 to over 12 is an improper fraction. So you have to convert it to a mixed number as 4, 8 over 12. And then let's see into another example. Now here, uh, once again under the first method, 1 plus 2 and 1 over 8 plus 3 over 4. In order to equate the denominators, I have multiplied up and down by 2. So that the denominator will be 8, we can easily add. So it becomes 3 plus 1 plus 6 over 8. That is 3, 7 over 8. The second method, if you follow the same example, convert it into an improper fraction like this. Add. Before adding, you have to equate the denominators. And then you get the answer as 31 over 8. When it is converted to a mixed number, once again you get the same answer 3, 7 over 8. And now let's look into fractions under subtraction. So here, if the denominators are equal, you can subtract just like before. But if the denominators are not equal, you have to equate the denominators and do the subtraction. Now look at this example here. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6. The denominators are same. So the answer is very simple. 5 minus 2 that is 3 over 6. But if the denominators are not equal like this. 3 over 4 minus 2 over 8. You have to equate the denominators and then you have to subtract and take the answer like this. So this is a demonstration with pictures. Let's look into some more examples. 5 over 12 minus 3 over 12. Here 12 is the common denominator. Therefore nothing to work out over there. 5 minus 3 is 2 over 12. Look at this example. 
6 over 8 minus 5 over 12. Now, once again, here, 8 and 12 are different denominators. You have to equate the denominator. You know the LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. We have already worked it out. So, you can convert both the denominators to 24 by multiplying the first fraction by 3 and the second fraction by 2. So you get 18 over 24 minus 10 over 24 where the final answer is 8 over 24. So this is how you do subtraction of fractions if the denominators are equal and the example number 8 is subtraction of fractions when the denominators are not equal. And then the final session of this is subtraction of mixed numbers. In subtraction of mixed numbers too, you can follow two methods just like in addition of mixed numbers. Either you can subtract the whole number parts and fractional parts separately or you can convert them to the mix, uh, convert the mixed number into an improper fraction and then subtract. Look at this example. 6, 7 over 8 minus 2, 1 over 4. Now here I can write 6 minus 2 and 7 over 8 minus 1 over 4. I have equated the denominators there. Now you have to remember a special thing here. When you subtract separately the fractional part and the whole number part, both these parts must be written within brackets as I have written like this. Otherwise, you might do mistakes if you miss the bracket. You have to subtract the whole number part separately. You have to subtract the fractional part separately and then add the two parts in order to get the final answer. Now here you get 4, 7 minus 2 over 8. That is 4, 5 over 8. In the second method, if you follow this, same example, you have to convert it to an improper fraction first. So it becomes 55 over 8 minus 9 over 4. Then you have to convert 9 over 4 to an equivalent fraction where the denominator is 8. So you have to multiply up and down by 2 like this. And then you get 55 minus 18 over 8. That is 37 over 8. 37 over 8 is an improper fraction. So you have to convert it to a mixed number. So the final answer becomes 4, 5 over 8. And that is how you do subtraction of mixed numbers. Hope I made myself clear with addition and subtraction of fractions. See you with another smart method.